Uh, so hello everyone. Uh, my name is Shil Patel, and today uh, I'm going to today I'm going to show you uh, my project, which is uh, Twitter sentiment analysis. Twitter sentiment analysis is basically a sentiment analysis uh, on using of uh, the tweets which are mentioned by users on a particular entity, particular topic, and to find we are today we are going to do do this Twitter sentiment analysis to find out the polarity of a given tweet, whether it is a positive tweet, whether it is a negative uh, negative tweet, or it is a neutral tweet. Okay, so uh, so let's start. So this is the code, and I'm showing in the collab Google collab. So for, we have first included the two libraries, import numpy and import pandas. Numpy and pandas are basically used for the uh, for the numerical uh, numerical data. So we have imported these two libraries. Uh, next is the matplotlib and um, import and cborn. These both are, uh, which I'm going to mention uh, later on, which is uh, these are, these both are used for the graphical representation of data. So, so yeah, so import warning is basically to show us warning. So that is this. Okay, uh, so now I mentioned that we have taken two data set. I have taken uh, from online from the uh, API. I have taken two data set that is trained data set tweets and uh, test data set tweets. In trained data set tweets, there are uh, there are there are approximately 31,000 tweets and they are in three categories that is labeled uh, zero for positive tweets, uh, label one for the negative tweets. And like that, are, there are also neutral neutral tweets. Okay, in test test data tweets, there is no no labeling, and we are going to uh, use the training. The, we are going to train this model to to find to find out the which polarity is uh, the given tweet is showing in the data set of uh, test tweets. And also, we are going to find out uh, the accuracy in later on of this video. So uh, let's start. So this is which I already mentioned. So train dot head. It shows us the all the uh, the data set of the like tweets, uh, different types of tweets. So this is the ID is given. There are many, but the, these are only the upper ones are showing it. And uh, these are the tweets. So this is a label given zero. Zero label is given for the positive tweets. So these are the some of uh, which are mentioned. So these are the positive tweets uh, like that in test test uh, dot head. The, the test data set of tweets uh, it is showing. But here there is no labeling because we are going to train it. So it is not already labeled. Oh, and this train dot is null dot any is for the to find out whether there is an empty empty tweet, empty, which means there is no characters, no numericals. It's just empty. There is no words, nothing, no characters in it. So to find out that we are we are doing this, but uh, luck, luckily we have not find any any empty tweet in this train or the test data set data set of tweets. Uh, now this. Uh, to check out the uh, to check out the tweets uh, in the train data set label zero is for the like I already mentioned that for the positive and negative ones okay so it is already labeled uh, label zero for the like positive ones and the uh, these so these are the tweets this is labeled one then label one for the like label one is for the negative ones so like that it is it is showing here okay so like this. And basic, I also forgot to mention that these are the tweets. I have taken it from a online website, and uh, I I will sh I will show it in the in the code will be in the description. And these tweets are already there. And these tweets are basically uh, during the time of like a uh, Trump election and then. So there are positive tweets and negative tweets. Uh, okay, so this here comes the use of the matplotlib. So uh, we have mentioned here the number of. Tweets like we here you can see out of thirty more than thirty thousand tweets, mostly around twenty nine thousand of them are like uh, are positive label zero and uh, only very few like less than five percent like less than five uh, thousand tweets are negative ones uh, which is shown in this here like uh, one is for the negative and uh, label zero is for the positive. Okay, so this is for the like uh, dots uh, dots str dot ln. So is this for the showing the uh, length? length that how long is a particular tweets are how many characters are there like how many words to show basic representation of it so uh, then the, uh, we can see that uh, here the pink pink one uh, of graph is showing for the uh, train data set and uh, for the, the orange one is showing for the test data set okay so the number of like words used and all that length of the character so uh, how how long it is that so to show that so it is a basic representation of it okay next is the Okay, so this is for the again like average like example if we are taken for the train data set so the label is uh, zero is already there is zero okay so for particular like ID one 
uh, at user when a father is this uh, uh, dysfunctional and like that so there are total uh, for length there is 102 102 total characters in that particular date tweet so the, here it is a list of uh, it is given of uh, our train dot head uh, 10 means first first 10 okay out of all the data set we have train dot group by label so basically in train data set which is already labeled 0 or 1 we are showing the average that how many minimum like minimum length of length of characters are there maximum length the average of that so basically a description of what how many character length of uh, are there in label 0 and how many how many in uh, uh, label 1 that is the negative one okay so again we are showing in this graph uh, the frequencies and the variable of length it is like kind of a same that but it is uh, for the other for the train a uh, general overview of the a variation of length and all so basically it is showing that okay count vectorization so basically count vectorization is used for the number of frequent number of words uh, the frequent to knowing the frequency of number of words how many occurrences there for a particular number of words here we will show that uh, the in english in stop words we are uh, using most frequently top 30 30 ones okay so top 30 ones and with the help of blue the blue uh, like color we are showing this in graph so here you can see the top 30 are that like user love then uh, happy just fine like today thankful positive these are the number of words and if showing frequency like user is showing the maximum number of frequency maximum number of time uh, a tweets a tweets have this user word and second like love the max, max, maximum tweets have this love mostly are positive as i already mentioned before so this is the frequency dot head for the most 30 frequency uh most word used words and frequency okay next okay so this is basically to show the it is we have here import like word cloud it is for library to show the like number of words and uh, to basically show the number of uh, like not not the number of like representation of words which are used in that our uh, tweets uh, tweets data set so these are the all the positive ones and here like similarly that here here for, for the train data set here we are using the neutral words so these are the, some neutral words and, and this is also similar similar only and here it is the negative ones but here negative ones example there is the racism there is black there is trump hate all these things um, tweets mentioned there are words which are negative uh, so in this negative tweets these are the words which were used Okay, so this is the basic and using that PLT that is a uh, matplot library and this uh, we have shown this in a very like in a way very, very representative way. Okay, now we are collecting here by the def uh, hashtag underscore extract. We are we are collecting here the hashtags out of the all the tweets. And uh, so individually we are finding hashtags in all the tweets. Because in uh, in most of the tweets that are at the end or at the beginning or somewhere there are a number of hashtags and we, it shows that we, it shows the maximum possibility of whether it is a positive one or whether it is a negative one. So uh, hashtags we are collecting the hashtags here, and uh, okay, so extract extracting hashtag, and uh, okay so hashtag reg, uh, ht reg, underscore regular it is for the like hashtags taken from the train label of zero zero that is the positive positive data sets of the train. Uh, we are we are mentioning it, extracting that and uh, doing it and putting it in ht underscore regular and ht underscore negative. We are taking all the negative tweets and are taking the hashtags from that, extracting that and putting in ht underscore negative. Now we are summarizing like is equal to sum. So that is the third thing for listing. Now, okay, okay. So here basically we are now we are we 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 will represent them. Okay. So we here now C1 uh, here C1 comes to place that uh, we are using C1 here to plot this. Okay. So as you can share, we are also we have also counted that the the hashtags that is positive and negative ones. Okay. So here we are ht underscore regular we are using and using NLTK that is the natural language tool uh, classic uh, kit na sorry natural language tool kit we are using for frequently uh, frequently or uh, distributed like the tweets which hashtags which were uh, taken from the tweets and ht regular is for the for taken from the positive so so as you can see basically this is the graph showing the number of frequencies of a particular word and these are the hashtags 
taken from the positive ones. So hashtag love was from the positive, hashtag positive from, from the positive tweet, from the trained data set of tweets. And the number of frequencies also showing that love is approximately like more than 15,000 times of it is used in, in, in different number of tweets. Okay, so similarly, same thing using same same code only changing of ht underscore negative that that were h underscore regular for positive ones and this this is for the negative ones so okay so these are these are all the same represent representation and this is the showing the count approximately that uh, the trump was the most uh, number of most hated word or the most negative word which were which was used in the negative tweets uh, second was politics like liberal uh, retweet black racism and all these things were used now tokenizing okay so tokenizing like out of the whole whole sentences in the sentences in the paragraphs or the like long form of the tweets of whole the like sentences we are tokenizing for like uh, for words like out of all that sentences we are taking individual individual words and storing it so we are it is called tokenization Okay, so we, here you can find that around 60, like th there is a huge number. You can see the digits like 61, like, like many, many, uh, huge, huge number of uh, uh, words, we, words individual we can take from the tweets. And also tokenization is also used for like uh, to find like similar. Uh, okay, so as a, as a, you can see in the this code, like example for positive tweets, uh, dinner was taken as a, as a word. And we are finding it similar with similar words which were used uh, related to dinner. So spaghetti, wanderlust, coaching, podium, restaurant, hashtag restaurant, sister, fluffy. These are the words which are similar to that dinner word which were used in the tweets, particular tweets. Okay. Exactly. Similarly, it is, it, it, I have shown in further examples like cancer, uh, law, targeted, label, ways, ownership, society. These were further used words. Uh, similar to that, similarly for Apple, the basic things. Only the only I've shown examples to to clear uh, your doubts and like you can easily able to like uh, understand from it. Uh, similarly, uh, similar words for uh, hate, negative word. Uh, further in above it was for positive words. Here it is for negative words. So like example, hype, eyes, fundraising, hands, like hashtag games, like all those things. Similar words. Okay. Now, out of this, we have already like we have already like tokenized tokenized all the words. Now we are labeling it again. Like we are putting in this all sentences. Okay, so uh, the first tweet, first tweet uh, example in the positive one, there it is now. It is now tokenized. At at user is different. Man is different. A is different. Father is different. Is is different. Dice function is different. And so it is basically it has broken down whole sentences, whole paragraphs into individual words. So now we can see that, okay. And the about the the graph which was showing that positive negative words, which was it was only only to show that which are the positive and negative ones, okay. This was the, that was from the trained data set, okay. This this we are doing it from the test ones, okay. To to train the model, okay. So we are, we are given this, okay. Okay, now. First of all, okay, so we have done this uh, vector, okay, count vectorization and all this and tokenization. Now, removing now comes part of the data, the data cleansing process. That is the removing of stop words. Stop words is basically like articles, pronouns, removing that all unnecessary words so that only the positive, neutral, and the negative words, only that words are remaining that is RM and articles, the, this all are removed. Re, these all are removed so only the positive negative and neutral words that the words which will show positive negative or neutral emotion will which will only be remaining so stop words we are removing stop words using the nltk.corpus okay so this is we are doing it for the train underscore corpus uh okay from a to z that's whole for train data set removing stop words okay now this is similarly, we are doing it for the test data set. Okay. Okay. Now, out of this, the whole thing count vectorization, we have finally found out that uh, after all doing all these things, how we have found out like 
the total number of like words and all that so there are uh, different different words out of the old tweets all tweets okay so you found out this thing same 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 for the uh, which one okay okay so the train data set now we are doing it for the test data set okay now we are splitting here that is a uh, train data set which are already if we are taking the valid uh, valid ones we train data set which are already labeled 0 and 1 we are taking out the valid one which is that it is not 100% percent accurate okay so 95% 99% which is accurate we are taking the which are the valid ones from the the train data set okay so to because we we need to compare to find out from from the confusion matrix from different things we need to find out the accuracy so we are taking only the only the valid ones which which are 100% valid from the train data set so we have taken uh, this and we are using the train underscore test underscore split we are first splitting from the train okay so okay now now we are going to compare these things okay okay now so this is the part so as we have already that we have split into like train data set, train data set and out of that train data set which were the valid ones which were the like like unvalid ones are already removed and out of this okay so this is standard scalar okay we are already like transforming that that uh, the train data set and the uh, the test data set we are already transforming into the like x underscore train in that thing now we uh, below we are going to comparing that okay so you, you we are comparing like three times like for random for classifier then for confusion matrix and we will find out the f1 f1 score or like to show whether, we, whether it is more accurate or not okay so here uh, i given the output that the training accuracy is 0 0.999 which is which we which, which can say out of one it is very accurate part okay and out of that training ac accuracy uh validate validation accuracy we have tried so uh, it is 0 0.95 which is which is better which is very very good okay and f1 score out of that y valid and v and y p r e d which is the predict word, predicted word out of out of the test one so uh so these we, we can say that cm is equal confusion matrix this uh it is comparing with y underscore valid which is taken from the train data set and y underscore pre predict that is p r e d which is taken from the test data set so from train data set valid ones and the y underscore predict from the uh, te test data set so we are comparing that and finally we, we will find out the which is accur accuracy part but whether it is accurate or not and no no uh, it is already accurate but uh, how much times it is more accurate on that so uh, so here training accuracy is given the validation accuracy is given and f1 score okay so 0.6 is the f1 code and this matrix given below is for the for showing the confusion matrix okay i hope uh, you know the confusion matrix part so it is for that similarly for using logistic uh, regression we have we have done so there are different different classifiers right random forest classifier naive based classifiers is there now logistic regression is there so using different different things we have tried and find out the accuracy and mostly the accuracy is very pretty good uh, like here f1 score is 0.59 which is which is which is also good and if we take even bigger data set then accuracy can also be like improved easily improved and uh, uh, yeah we have here third one we have used decision tree classifier okay so like x train y train we, we i already mentioned that uh, they, they taken the positive negative ones from the train data set and uh, and why 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 predicts and uh, why prediction prediction is for the, from taken from the uh, test data set and we are comparing them so here also the we can underscore uh, under below is the confusion matrix and uh, the accuracy is given so accurate accuracy of f1 like f1 score is 0.53 which is which is good okay so this is the end of it okay i hope you will uh, learn something today and uh, okay so if you want uh, guys uh, if you want this uh, code then it is given below in the description uh, always be alert